world around us. If you look around, you will see many kinds of things, right? Now some of them are living, others are not. A living thing is one that has life in it. This life shows itself in many ways. I'm sure you've noticed that. Whereas things which do not have life are called non-living things. In the picture shown here, put the living and non-living things into two separate groups. I'm sure you can do that. What do living things do? Living things differ from non-living things in many ways. 1. All living things move. 2. They grow. 3. They need food. 4. They breathe. 5. They can feel changes around them. 6. They produce young ones. 7. They get old and die. Characteristics of living things 1. Living things have a definite shape and size. All organisms of one kind have a definite shape and size. That is why you can distinguish a dog from a cat or a mosquito from a fly. Similarly, you can distinguish a neem tree from a people or a banyan tree or a rose plant from a sunflower plant by recognizing the shape of leaves and flowers. Organisms show great variation in their size. For example, an elephant is much larger than a man and a whale is many times larger than an elephant. Similarly, a neem or banyan tree is larger than a rose plant and a rose plant is larger than grass. 2. Living things have living matter. Living things are made up of many elements such as carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, sodium, calcium, iron, phosphorus and copper. They contain protoplasm which is the physical basis of life. Living things grow. Food makes living things grow. A seed grows into a small plant called a seedling. The seedling grows into a big plant. A baby grows into a child. A child grows into a man. A chick comes out of an egg and grows into a hen. So we can say that living things grow. Things to know. A tadpole grows into a frog. A caterpillar grows into a butterfly. Living things need food. All organisms need food to remain alive, grow and to get energy for carrying out various life activities. The method of obtaining food by an organism is called nutrition. You must have seen animals eat food, but not plants. Have you seen plants eat? No. However, plants also need food and energy. Green plants take energy from the sun and make their own food using water and carbon dioxide. This process of preparing food is called 
photosynthesis. Only green plants can make their food from carbon dioxide and water using solar energy. They are called autotrophs. The green plants also provide food and energy to all animals on the earth. Animals and non-green plants do not have chlorophyll, so they cannot make their own food. They eat plants or other animals to obtain energy. They are called heterotrophs. Living things show movement. The change in the position of any body part is called movement and the movement of a whole organism from one place to another is called locomotion. Animals show locomotion as well as movement of body parts, but plants show only movements. Imagine if a plant started moving from one place to another on its own. Animals use their legs for walking and running. Birds use their wings to fly. Fishes have fins to swim. The energy to move comes from within the living beings. But why do they move? Well, they move in search of food and shelter. They move to escape from their enemies. Movement in plants is not obvious because they do not change their position. However, parts of plants do move in the direction of stimulus. For example, the shoot of a plant moves towards light and the root grows away from light towards soil. Let us do an activity. To observe the movement of the shoot of a plant, towards sunlight. Place a potted plant near the window. Observe after a few days. What do you notice? Does the plant grow upright like the plants outside? Why did the plant bend towards the window? It is because a plant always grows towards light. A sunflower moves its head in the direction of the sun. A touch-me-not plant folds its leaves when touched. When a bud opens into a flower, its petals move outwards. Living things have adaptability. Organisms are able to withstand changes that occur in their surrounding environment. They can adjust to excessive heat or cold and can bear shortage of water or oxygen, though for some time. This ability of living things is called adaptation. This helps them to survive and evolve into new forms. Living things respond to stimuli. All living organisms, be it plants, or animals react to changes in their surroundings. For example, you shiver on a cold day or sweat on a hot day and feel scared on seeing a snake. The change in the environment that evokes an organism to react to it is called a stimulus. The reaction to the stimulus is called response. The ability of an organism to react to a change in the environment is called responsiveness. For example, when you happen to touch a hot pot, your hand is pulled away immediately. Here, the heat of the pot is the stimulus and pulling away of the hand is the response.